shot dead 21 year old Bakaton Crips gang member Jose Duffy Medina laid motionless off an alley on Mahogany Street in Orange Rock Town. Neighbors say they heard at least seven shots. The broad daylight brazen murder happened around 7 o'clock in the morning. Sources tell News 5 that Medina was ambushed. He was on a bicycle heading to a house he was renting for about three weeks, a stash house away from those who were gunning for him. As he entered the alley leading to the house, the gunman alighted a vehicle which sped off. Reports are that Medina was shot to the head and died on the spot. His girlfriend, 28-year-old Lucia Luna, was also shot. We are told that after hearing the shots, she ran out of the house and was shot to the abdomen. She was taken to the Northern Regional Hospital where she underwent surgery and is in a critical condition. Luna reportedly saw who the gunman was. After carrying out the crime, the gunman escaped on foot through alleys and back into the car, leaving Medina on the ground for shocked neighbors to see. This latest murder is said to be linked to previous fatal shooting and is said to be gang-related, specifically to the worsening internal gang war between members of the Bacatown Crips gang. This gang war is believed to have been sparked by the murder of 21-year-old Albert Vargas, who was killed on July 10th while he was in a parked car along the Belize Corozal Road near Landis and Son. Inside the car with him was Medina. 24-year-old Belize City resident Nisani Daniel Garcia was charged for Vargas' murder. Fast forward 40 days after, death came for Bacaton Crips gang boss Junior Trimenio on August 20th. Tremenio and 19-year-old Christopher Calderon were exiting the Louisiana football field and heading to Zaragoza Street when they were killed. No one has been charged for that double homicide. An investigation has revealed that the car used for the double murder was a Belize City rental, reportedly rented, by a female associated with one of the gang members. Then, there was the fatal shooting of 25-year-old Samuel Castro, who was shot early on Sunday morning on September 30th while he was on Muffles Street when two men on motorcycles blasted bullets in his direction. His murder is believed to be a case of mistaken identity as a shooter, we understand, was after a back town gang affiliate known as Pebbles. Five minutes after, 23-year-old Justin Diaz was shot. Unfortunately for him, he survived. He was at the corner of Sapodilla and Sirocote Streets when one of two men on motorcycles opened fire. Police are looking for 28-year-old Orange Rock resident Juan Canicas Quintero, also a Bacatón gang member. Our information is that Quintero has crossed the border into Mexico. This leads us to what happened today, the murder of yet another Bacatón gang member as the gang war worsens. Junior Tremino, Albert Vargas, and Jose Medina have been associates for years. In January 2017, the trio was arrested and charged for drug trafficking after a high-speed chase led orange drug police to more than 4,000 grams of marijuana inside the car. Tonight, orange drug police are left battling to halt what seems to be an uncontrollable internal gang war, and the orange drug residents are asking, is Sugar City returning to its Rambo town days? Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.